What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Crazy Steve, and um, this is going to be something I'm going to do every Thursday, or most Thursdays, and I'm going to call this segment Storytime with Steve, because I'm Crazy Steve. Yeah. Um, but, uh, if you do not like animal stories, sad animal stories, then, um... I would probably not watch this video, but it would be much appreciated if you would um, take this video and post it on your Facebook or your Twitter, or your Instagram, whatever. Get the word out there. These videos are, I'm hoping, going to make my channel. Um... This is a story, it's a, a true story, but um, it does not end very well. It is pretty sad, and it does involve an animal. So again, if you do not like sad stories about animals, then feel free to not watch this video. Alright, first... Um, this took place back in, I would say, probably, like, 09. I was, like, 19 at the time. Just moved back to my hometown. You know, I had a little, uh, apartment off the side of the highway. It was, um, we'll say, slummy. <laughs> it was government-funded, all that good stuff. And uh, I would walk probably 10 minutes down the highway to go to my friend's house. He lived on the side of uh, the highway. And um, this friend would, um, you know, we'd, we'd play games pretty much. We'd hang out. We'd play games. We'd chill. And uh, one night I was walking back home. And um, I was probably about halfway there walking on the side of the interstate or on the highway and um this little dog it was like uh i'd say a, like a german shepherd mix something like this it came you know running out of the woods and um it started following me and i kind of you know tried to shoo it away i was like you know go back to your family you know i don't know if you have an owner or anything but go back to your family you know because i'm on the side of the highway or whatever but no matter what i did it wouldn't leave, so I had a new little buddy. And it followed me, you know, a good ways down the highway. And, um, it's like walking directly behind me. And, uh, I'm walking facing traffic, because that's the way I was always taught. That's how you walk. And I noticed a tractor trailer coming. And it was, um, I don't know if the driver was falling asleep or what was going on, but uh, he started kind of veering over off the road a little bit, like towards me. It was insane. So I dove out of the way. I didn't think about it. It was instinct. I dove out of the way. He hit the dog. He hit the poor dog. Like, at last instant, he started to, like, veer back into the road, and he clipped this poor dog. And the dog went flying, you know, I I got up, because I jumped off the, the road onto, like, an a, embankment. And uh, I got up and was, like, looking for this dog, and I found it, and it was over on top of the embankment a little ways down. And its body was mangled. Its head was twisted all the way around. It was so sad. You know, not to go in detail or anything. But, you know, I just, I didn't know what to do. Uh, I couldn't move it. And I knew it was probably going to die since, you know, it had such bad injury, especially with the head and everything. So I sat there and I waited for this poor dog to you know, pass away, because I didn't have a phone back, you know, back then, I was, I was broke, um, this was pretty scarring for me, it only, you know, it took maybe 
five minutes for the dog to pass away. So even if I would have called someone or anything like that, the dog would have still passed away. I mean, it was it was a given with its injuries. You know, I'm actually surprised it lived that long at being hit by a tractor trailer. And I was so scarred for this. Like, I physically was trying to comfort this dog. You know, I had blood on me, all that stuff. And I was just so shook. Like, this was probably, you know, it may have been someone's pet. It may had not have been. You know, it didn't have any tags or anything. But the fact that it died because of me is kind of... Well, really, it didn't die because of me. I should say it died because of an asshole truck driver who veered his truck off the side of the road. I could have been in the same position as the dog if I didn't notice and dive off the side of the road. But this just tore me up. I think I even walked home and then borrowed like my neighbor's phone to call my buddy. And I was like, hey man, do you know anyone that has a dog? Is this, you know, I told him the whole story and everything, and he didn't know anyone that lived anyone anywhere between us and I just I felt so bad just that I caused a life and it happened right in front of me but that was that was pretty pretty uh, breathtaking and not in a good way it was probably one of the saddest things I've ever experienced I have three dogs myself I know you guys don't really see the other two. It's usually just the one up here. But I have three Huskies, and um, I would give the world for them. And the fact that it was a dog that died, I didn't even know its name, on the side of the highway in front of me, that was horrifying. And thinking now as an adult, I'm, you know, I'm kind of like if that had happened to my animal that would destroy me so that makes me feel kind of even worse but it didn't have tags I just I think it was a stray but nonetheless that was an animal life that ended so soon that little dog was so sweet but um yeah, as far as this story goes, guys, that's it. And um, if you found that story to be a little rough, I'm sorry. This was my first one. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe if you are not subscribed drop a comment let me know what you thought of this story and if you would like to hear more I have more that aren't all animal related every Thursday they will come or most Thursdays I might have to remember a story or think of one um, but yeah remember to like and subscribe and uh, click that little bell notification so that when I do stream a game or tell another story, you guys will be right there with it. And, uh, yeah. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later. Later.